the Mongoose XR Pro. A lot of you have been waiting to see this on a mountain bike trail, so I decided I would up the game a bit. I teamed up with two local mountain bike riders that own specialized mountain bikes. These guys ride the trail regularly and they can really give this thing a workout. This is their first time seeing an XR Pro in person, and I gotta say, I don't think they were all that impressed. They found quite a few shortcomings and even questioned how long this thing would hold up. When the first question is, is it okay if the bike is broken at the end of the ride, you know it's really gonna get a test. And that's not to say that they're going out of their way to break the bike, they're just worried that it's not going to be able to handle how they ride. I wasn't all that worried about that, so I loaded them up with some cameras and we hit the trail. Unfortunately, I didn't adjust the cameras properly, so I ended up getting a full day's worth of knees and handlebars. Not quite what I envisioned for a good trail video for this bike. But all wasn't lost. As I was starting to delete footage off the GoPros, I realized that I also captured some good conversations. I'll take serendipity where I can. And in the case of this trail video, I didn't get much trail riding, but I got trail experience. And that may be even more valuable for evaluating the XR Pro. So I'm going to do this video a little different than normal. I'm going to treat this more like an interview video, because there are some segments where I ask these guys questions during the trail ride. And it's interesting to see how their opinions shifted as the ride progressed. First impressions, they weren't all that positive. The first ride, also not all that positive. This thing's tail heavy and bounces and flexes quite a bit more than a Specialized. So it takes some adapting. But being good riders, within a minute they've adapted and they're on the trail. Early into the trail ride, I captured a conversation. Let's listen in. This, this bike ride's horrible. <laughs> it does not ride good. What do you not like about it? It's, it's the back feels real heavy, and it's just it's doing this the whole time on the trail. You like every like little you... stick is like trying oh. to the bike. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It does not. You think it? And that's what the rebound turned all the way up. <laughs> okay, so your bike is a specialized uh, rock hopper that I got off Craigslist. Okay, and your first bike was a uh, Diamondback from uh, Dick Sporting Goods. Okay, um, and your first bike, uh, the bike that got me in the mountain biking uh, was a Mongoose Spark from Kmart. <laughs> oh, okay, a Mongoose Spark from Kmart. That that tells something. Okay, and that's what you're currently riding, which is a uh, specialized Fuse Pro. Specialized Fuse Pro. Okay, and both of your opinions are. That this isn't really a good bike. You've no. both ridden it. Yeah. Okay. Now, is it a bad bike? Mm. It's better than the other Walmart bikes, definitely. Okay. And the and reason the reason I'm setting all this up is because I'm about to show you guys a picture, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to come back and I want you to talk about your reaction to it because a lot of people say, and I saw both of you just said it, that someone would would be better off buying a bike on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. A brand name bike. Okay, so now I'm about to show you a picture. This is what they're looking at. This is a bike I found on Craigslist for $500. And I show this posting because this is important for the people that say an XR Pro isn't as good as something you can find on Craigslist. Because if you don't know what you're looking for on Craigslist and you don't know things about bikes like, say, Trek, you can get ripped off. This was marketed as a light new Trek that had been repainted. What it actually is is something similar and possibly even a Huffy Rock Creek, a $59 bike that has been spray painted white, has been adorned with Trek stickers from a standard Trek sticker decal pack, and they used every sticker, and then posted on Craigslist for $500 as a Trek mountain bike. And okay, now having seen that, yeah, if they're gonna, if you're gonna buy a mountain bike from, if you're gonna buy this from Walmart, yeah. unless you have a project in mind for this, which even you have mentioned, yeah. might be a teaser for some things you know hey you know it'd be cool to get a bike and fix it up it would be, make but it more seeing than that if you were the average person and you didn't know anything about bikes you'd say that you could get very easily ripped off yeah Absolutely. with that posting yeah terrible. armed with the new knowledge of who may be attracted to this bike we hit the trail again for about another hour we didn't have any major breakages or catastrophes the only issue was one minor chain slip we got a chain slip on the inside. I had a feeling I was seeing something happen before my eyes. Here's two specialized riders on an XR Pro 
and every time I looked, they were pushing it just a little harder and even taking a few hops here and there. Now that's not to say they were taking any epic jumps on it, they were always mindful of what it couldn't do. But I didn't hear any complaints. As a matter of fact, I even saw a couple of smiles. After an hour and a half of riding on the trails, the XR Pro is still in one piece, and everyone seems happy, like they had a good, nice ride. In my mind, this is a compelling argument for the value of the XR Pro. Two riders that ride specialized bikes that cost way more actually had fun on it, and it didn't break. Let's see what their final thoughts are. An hour and a half-ish with the XR Pro, with two specialized riders, a few small jumps, so what's the opinion? Because midpoint, you guys were not into the bike at all. Okay, yeah. so now that it's end point, I was hearing a little bit of difference in the opinions on the bike. I think for 300, 350, and you want 29 inch wheels and disc brakes, and you're looking to upgrade. Sure upgrade. If you're looking to upgrade, it would be something I would look into for sure. Yeah. If you had no other options, if especially. If I had no other options, I would go with that. Yeah. If especially if you're talking new. If you're talking brand new, yeah. no Craigslist, no used bike shop around town. Because uh, as we talked about, Craigslist, Craigslist, if you don't know what you're doing, yeah, you can, you can easily get Craigslist. ripped off. Right. So, yeah, no bike shop. Yeah. Obviously, the best choice always bike shop yeah, if you absolutely. can afford it. Yeah, and but, sometimes they have used bikes you can pick up there for around this price. Yeah. And but, a cheap entry level bike shop bike won't have the upgradeability that one does yeah like a trek 820 yeah, yeah no disc things like that so plus i mean this is a big country there's i'm sure a lot of cities that have multiple walmarts and no bike shops yeah that used to be florence so yeah yeah so it's a doable bike yeah I, I, it's a pretty intermediate mountain bike trails uh so and it handled it fine i wouldn't take it on anything above this but for just you know just learning to ride beginner stuff absolutely I could I could ride that bike. It's a little, the weight's a little high, but you know that's something you're gonna have to work fast on any bike anyway. So especially at that price. Point. At that price, yes, at 350. Yeah. So. Okay, now to the what I view as the Achilles heel in the it's only 300 or 350 dollar mark. Mm -hmm. You got to set it up. You don't know what you're doing on setup. Mm -hmm. So if you're buying a Walmart bike, you don't get that bike shop treatment. Yeah, so you're gonna pay another 45 bucks if you go to like. Dick's Sporting Goods, you may pay 35 bucks, something like that, right. to get it set up. So now, we're creeping up to a $400 bike-ish. 350 to $400. My Rock Hopper's only 450 brand new for the entry-level model. It's lighter. It's a hardtail. It's, got, a, it's got an air fork on it. That's true. Uh, yeah, so that can make a difference. It's a two-by. Yeah. But... If you wanted a full suspension bike. Oh, yeah. If you're dead set on full suspension. If you're dead set, that's your that's going to be yeah. your, probably one of your best bangs for your bike. Yeah. Price okay. Jumps up yeah. So and it's a usable bike and it survived you and I mean you weren't easy on it. No, I was riding it like I, I mean, would you even ride got my some marks tail. on your leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. From one little bite on it. So yeah, so it's an okay bike after riding it. Because, I mean, at the very beginning, you guys were even like, I don't know about this stem, I don't yeah, know that, about that, this. Yeah. The only thing I'm having trouble with, the, the fork and the tires are just so, like, <laughs> that's the first thing it's got to go. Yeah. That fork is just trash. Yeah. It survived today, but I think if we kept at it, it wouldn't last. Okay. Like, if I was just, if I was riding as hard as I ride every single day, it like, flat. It, like it, would, it would blow it out. Right. Because there's nothing but a coil in there. The recoil doesn't really do anything. That's the first thing that's got to go. But if your heart's just dead, like just set on a, having a full suspension, I don't think you're going to find one for 350 anywhere else. Yeah, so all in all, it's not a bad bike. It's not a perfect bike. No, yeah, it's but not But it's a bad not bike. a bad bike. And for the average rider... So not bad for the XR Pro in its factory form. And remember, this bike only starts to shine when you upgrade it, which I will be doing. He had some 2.35 Michelin tires that fit perfect. I think we're going to throw this on it. I also have the local bike shop on alert for the other components that I need. But before I do that, we'll get this bike in factory form back on the trail with these riders. Try to give you a good first person view of a ride on this bike on the trail. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification icon so you can catch the latest XR Pro and other bike videos as they come out. Why is it that you aren't
front on your specialized rock hopper? Oh, because I blew out my Suntor 4. <laughs> <laughs> because Suntor is of the devil.